Yo guys, it's Kiralis and welcome back to the Minecraft vehicle tutorial series with me, Kiralis. That's right, where we previously built this El Gipo. Look at this, I love it to bits, king of derp on the road. And if you can see this little flashing about, it's just because I'm using replace shaders and it's not really compatible with the shaders mod yet, so you know. What to do, what to do, take a poo. But today we're gonna build something really special. We're gonna build like the most epic speedboat ever. That's right. And as you can see here, I'm playing in a flat world, so you know, I don't really have much lakes about here and oceans so i'm just gonna build here and after this video is kind of finito though or the build is up in place i'm gonna move it to like another sea so you can see how it performs in water even though it's not gonna be moving about but nevertheless materials i'm you know you can use whatever you want this is what i'm gonna use i'm gonna use grains gray stained clay snow snow caps so it's gonna be a lot of click 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 light gray stained clay black stained clay iron bars and bunch of other stuff but we're gonna get to that Designed by Mr. Fruity Loopy on the World of Kerala server. So guys, give it up, give it up. And don't be shy. If you do enjoy this build, please do press the like button and spread it to the whole world. All right? I <laughs> love it. So the first block to be placed, and I'm going to place it here, in this little dirt position here. Are you right, guys? Ready? One, two, and three. <claps> Amazing. And this one will be going out in total by one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to make this shape here, which looks... <laughs> like a T, all right? And this one will be going on one, two, three, four, and five in total. So four and five, all right? Now the next one will be going here. And this one will be going in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Welcome to Counting with Kerales. Isn't this amazing? So let's see here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, and then just fill it in. And this won't be any like boat which you can like enter below the deck. So you know what? We don't really care about this round, do we? This is gonna be an awesome speedboat. Bam! So from above, it looks like this. Here on the back, what we're gonna do? We're gonna add one block here, one here, and in the middle, some iron bars from above. And if you're not catching up, guys, just pause the video, because this is a video with a pause button, right? So from bed, we get this. Snow. This is gonna be so tricky, -icky, but we're gonna make it. So from the front, we're gonna do this. We're gonna have a little thing going out by three blocks in total, like that. The next one here will be going out by four. The same on this side. Oops. The next one. Yes, that's right, you guessed it. Five blocks on both sides, because that's what we need to build the hill. So from above, we got three, four, and five blocks. And the next one, no, this one will be going out by 11 in total. So we're gonna end it one block before the end here of the clay, all right? So that's 11 blocks, so 12 below, 11 above. You can't fail, all right? And the same on this side. Oopsie daisy. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So it ends here. Next step is light grain stained clay. Two by two, like this on both sides. You can see from the side, it looks like this. Like this, like that. I love it. And then here on the back, we're just gonna add a three by three platform. Bam. From above. You can't fail. This is dirt simple, all right? Here, some day and night sensors. It's gonna be like a little walking board, I guess, you know, before you enter the boat or the deck or something. And on the sides, as thinking, let me just grab some window penises here. Let me see, where are they? Maybe some light blue. How is you looking? You is looking amazing. And maybe one torch. No, nah, you know what? Let's wait with the torches. The next step is... This is gonna be a bit tricky, but hopefully you can like, you know, see what I'm doing. We're gonna place one snow block here. <laughs> this is not the tricky part, <laughs> don't worry. And one here. And this in total will be going in by one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So do the same on this side. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven, like this. Here on the front, we're gonna do this. We're gonna add one snow block and remove it. So now we got this little overhanging block here, right? And the same on this side, like that. Take it up and 
go all the way back and stop just before that all right and the same on this side and stop here so that in total is one two three four five and six blocks from the side it looks like this snow cap time clickety click click with the mouse click this is gonna be annoying but you know what to do i can't do anything this will be going up by seven layers in total the next one will be going up by six five four three two and one so we get go this little shape going isn't that looking kind of that looks really really amazing and let's do the same on this side so seven layers six five four three two and one you with me look at this shape shapes for the win i love it and here in the back you know what we're gonna do we're gonna add a two by two little cube and take this so two layers two layers two layers and two layers and this is gonna go in by three layers so it kind of closes off the back for us very nicely and neat very cool so now you might be wondering like what is this hole about is it going to be a window not really but what we're going to do here we're going to be clicking a lot we're going to add seven layers in total don't fail don't fail Keralis. seven layers in <laughs> seven layers there we go and all the way so it's kind of going to give us a little window but yet again no it's just going to be a little shape going which is looking just absolutely boss and let's do the same on this side so I hate it. So seven. Don't break. Don't break. And seven. Perfect. This is a little beastly shape. And we're going to do the same thing all the way to the front. So this one will be going up like this. Going over by one block and ending like here. And the same here. Over one block and ended. So three block gap two block gap and on the front a one block gap you with me you with me and the same will go in here so three block gap two block gap and that is about it and now click it click seven layers all over in the gaps all right i'm going to do it on camera because i just want you guys to hear my annoying mouse clicks sounds you can skip it if you want though but you know some people just enjoy the clicking sound for some reason. Seven. 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 I think it's a sign. And there are seven. So can you just see how awesome this looks? Bananas. All right. So now we're going to add this one layer snow cap here on this little border. So you can see this shape is just continuing up and the same on this side. So there's a little stir. Boop, 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 boop. Perfecto mundo. And you know what? Since I'm not going to have, because let me just show you. Okay, I'm going to be using, for example, dark oak wood slabs, all right? And this is going to be going something like this. We're going to have a stair going up here, like this. From behind it, it looks really awesome. But this will be the deck elevation, all right? So we can't really squeeze under here, right? Because our head is kind of hitting the thing. You could build this one block lower like that and have a possibility to go down on the deck, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to add this here. Uh, but as you can see, maybe mobs will spawn here, like spiders or something. I don't know, bats or whatnot. So I'm just going to fill this below area up with like, you know, just some random material, just so we don't have any spawns down here, because bats, for example, the most annoying thing ever in the game. So this is how it's going to be going on the back, and here I'm just going to fill it up totally, all the way up, all right? And I'm going to tell you when to stop. Now? No, not yet, not yet, not yet. Wait for it, wait for it. We're going to stop about here. So this is what we got, four blocks and four blocks cube kind of thingy, all right? So that's about it. And we're going to fill it up here with one block all over the place. So hopefully you can catch up. You know, this is kind of not important because this is not going to, you know, be seen anyways. But for me, it's just kind of important because my OCD will kill me otherwise. So some black stained clay on the front. We're going to add this here, which will be a little border. Don't worry about it yet. All right. It's going to be this. In the front of that, I'm going to add some iron. So we're going to have iron by three blocks here. 
On the corners here, we're just going to turn with snow and then add some more iron on the side. So from above, we have this shape. I'm just going to pause here for a while. My shadow is in the way. Let me see here. There we go. Now you can't see me. Now you can. Now you can't. Perfect. And this is basically it for, for this little place. The only thing we need to do now is figure out some flooring. So we're going to use the dark wood oak. But I'm also going to use some stone slabs. So the snow slabs, let me see here, I'm going to fill this in. No bats. Bats not allowed. There we go. We're going to place the dark wood oak here on the on the corners. And in the middle, we you know, we can just even go there as well. And then in the front here, we're just going to do some stone slabs. So from above, we get the little shape going. Because this is going to, going to be like the thing where you, where the driver sits. So I'm just going to add this for now. Like little trip wire hooks and maybe a, a lever just for the imagination, right? Perfect. And then we can just... No! Are you kidding me? Then we can just close off the flooring. You can, you know, you can use like carpets. You can do... Just get creative with the designs here. But this this were, this kind of rocks my boat, if you know what I mean. Perfect. So from above, we get this deck shape going. We're going to come, come back to that. But I'm going to use some eyes as the window materials. And I'm going to add this on the on the iron blocks and as well on the black stained clay here so from the side and from above just amazing looking i love it to bits and now click and click snow caps for the win i'm gonna add two layers on this perimeter on this border so two layers on this here that's gonna give us some nice texture and definition so you can see here, it kind of goes up. The next step will be to add three layers here and all the way to the end, to the front of the ship, I mean. A boat. It's a boat. It's a bit. Same on this side, so three layers. And then, when this is done, we're going to add four layers here in the middle. So we're kind of leaving a gap here because that kind of looks amazing. You know, just design feature, I guess. And I don't want to be blocking, you know, the driver's view or anything. So four layers of this all the way to el fronto just awesome looking you know what here on the sides here we can add some window pieces maybe some black stained one here one on this side just to give it some more texture and detail i guess and on the back yes i was talking about the redstone torches hopefully that doesn't really melt anything but i'm gonna add one here and one on this side then you can add some signs, which you like, the boat name or something, what you prefer. Uh, this is pretty much it, guys. I mean, the only thing we need to do is to add some seating. And let me see here. Quartz stairs, maybe some quartz slabs. I'm also going to use some poo -poo 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 signs and item frames. So one seat here and one here. One here and one here. And then if you bring a lot of friends with you on this <laughs> imaginary ride... We're going to add four blocks here as well. This is going to be like the little couch area thingy. Sign to close it off. Sign to close it off. Sign behind here. Sign behind here. And then some iron frames on the sides. Bam, bam, and bam. And a table. That is pretty much it. I'm not really sure if we're going to add more on this. Because I think this is pretty much it. The speedboat of your dreams. And the water line will be going to this ledge here. So what I'm going to do now, guys, boys and girls, I'm going to move this to like a little ocean. So we can see how this bad boy performs in action. <laughs> it's not going to do that because it's not going to be moving. But it's going to be looking amazing with the shaders mod on water, I guess. So you know what? Let's do it. Let's, let's you know, let's move it. And I'm going to be back soon. And... As I told you guys, don't be shy. If you did enjoy this and think like, oh my god, this is amazing, I'm going to build this, hit that like button. It helps me out and spread it, spread this to the world, all right? So, I will be right back with you. But before we move it, you know what? I'm going to tweak this a bit. I'm going to tweak the windows. Here, we're going to do this on both sides. Bam and bam. Perfecto el mundo. So now this shape kind of fits more nicely, I guess, around the boat. Perfect, guys. All right, let me just move it and I will be right back with you. And snap. I gotta say, this looks freaking incredible. All right, so I'm using the Zeus shaders, which is also called a blinder because zzz, my eyes. And this is not an ocean. This is more or less a swamp. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Just use your imagination because this rocks my boat. I mean, you can build this and totally go Miami Vice style. Just look at it. 
But look at this, a big corral is on the water as well. Haha, <laughs> love it. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed, you know, let me just see, the, like, I would use a replace, but as you can see, it's kind of messed up with the chunk borders in the water, which is, but you know what, doesn't matter, because this boat is pretty bananas anyways, you know what, Mr. Meeps, how do you look like, let me see, 3000, oh, screenshot moment, there we go, maybe like here, screenshot moment, bam, perfect. So, uh, oh yes, 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 we can't forget to show you this in a default texture pack, which is going to be like, I'm going to close my eyes now. Burm, burm. It doesn't look that bad. I mean, okay, the, the engine parts of the thing here is, is kind of messed up, I guess, but you know what? It is kind of cool, nevertheless. Let me see here. Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> the snow is really ugly in the default texture pack, <laughs> but I love it. I absolutely love it. So guys, boys and girls, I really do hope you enjoyed. And um, you know what? Nothing else to say. Then, bam, bada, beam, bada, boom, boom. Don't forget, like, I mean, if you really did enjoy this, don't forget, hit that like button like there was no tomorrow and spread it to the world because this speedboat is bananas in pajamas. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, that's about it. I will see you in the next video in a day or two on my channel. And yeah, that's it. That's it. Diamonds and love. I love you to bits. All the cool stuffs. This is Keralis signing off. I kind of wish this moved. That would be so awesome. Oh, I might build this on... Yes, I might my, my do this on Attack of the B-Team server. Because we got this Archimedes Ships mod. Bananas. <laughs> Guys, see you. Bye-bye.